are here at the Massachusetts Conference for Women, and I am talking with... Kate Agentis. Now, here you go. You're going to make it really simple. And she has been a speaker here at the conference. And tell us what you're talking about. Well, I was on the panel on transitioning, which is kind of interesting because this is what this is all about, transitioning on, um, you know, sort of how I went from a mom to movie maker and that I'm currently here and we're in the in the uh, trade show talking about my new project. I did three features, which is called The Other F Word, mm -hmm. which is basically, it's a micro series, which means it's shorter than a traditional series, an episodic show about women in midlife, about basically coming of age and restarting and tra transitioning. On Amazon. It's streaming on Amazon mm -hmm. on a platform. We are actually their number one show because we were told really that this demographic does not matter and they're tough. And we wanted to prove them wrong because Hollywood still has very ageist beliefs that life ends. Like, do you remember, you guys probably all remember the movie Logan's Run, yeah. where the little light goes out at 30? Well, that's how Hollywood still believes that, you know, for women. And I just thought... Now, the demographic you're talking yeah. about, I want to make sure yes. that we're clear, is... Women, really, I would say, four, well, 49 is kind of where the key demographic ends, but I would say 40, 40 to and up, 40 to 60. So perimenopause into menopause. Yes, really. exactly. Those years, which I think are as exciting and as scary for women. Like, because as I was telling you, I think we, women are defined by their bodies. Like, you know, when you first get, you know, you menstruate, and then when it ends, are these sort of bookends to you, right. uh, chapters in your life. Pre reproduction and post-reproduction. Exactly, and having babies. So I think women are always pivoting and having kind of life changes. And I thought this one in particular, because it's this window, I think it's this huge call to action when your body start, when you're starting to have these changes, your body's doing things which you don't really like, but it's also this opportunity to kind of be in this it's now or never stage of life and take on challenge and being fearless. Well, what do you think are some tips that you learned about midlife in the process of your film or in the process of your life? Yeah, and it's a TV show, not a film. I'm just to, I know that. Let's, let's get the new Well, I correct. just learned again that you it's this time where you don't live your life so much for others. Because I think especially as a woman, you're conditioned that you're living for all these other people in your life. And I think you come again this stage where you realize, wait, it's kind of about me now. So that's one of the things I learned. And, and also, while I have a lot of fear and doubt, it, you really have to take this fearless attitude, you know, this and, and not, not let your own fears inhibit you. So... If we could sum it up in a different way, it's yes. time to nurture the nurturer. Yes. And the time spent on you isn't lost, it's invested. Exactly. Okay. And also just like I was saying is, I think you, we look at this and I think perimenopause is sort of scarier than menopause because there's all these changes and you, you know, one, like it's just a lot of things that become in your head. And I do feel like initially I was like, oh my God, what happens if this is the signal I'm gonna lose like desire and lose these things? And then I think, you know, I delved into research, like, wait, am I, you know, am I, and then you realize no. And I think for a lot of women, after you get past those kind of body things that mess you up a lot, it's, it, there's a lot of freedom that comes with this next stage of life. So you go from a time of really, uh, maybe confidence into a time of insecurity and pass through a window of time in which you may wonder, what's going to happen to me? Will I recognize myself? <laughs> exactly. And in fact, you end up in a spot that's called freedom because you have more wisdom, more flexibility, and maybe the resources, both financial and emotional, to do some exciting things. Well, exactly. And that's where I just feel like we're saying is why I call my, I looked at it as these coming of age stories because I do think like this desire to we have some I feel like and I I feel like I have more energy than I ever did um, or as much energy I feel like my body lets me down in different ways but passion and desire are still important I feel like I know who I am so I have less like it's that first impression and we're I'm so past first impressions that now it's like I not sure who I am but I'm going to find it and figure it out and you like who you are at the moment yeah 
or I own it at least. <laughs> <laughs> Any other tips or points or one piece of advice you would give to women in this point of life? Well, I just say, yeah, listen, I feel like strive to have more happy days than sad. So if there's things that are discomfort, like I don't think you should judge in terms of how you handle your body changes. And that is the goal is like you're at this point is just when you wake up, they're going to be sad days. They're going to be days that for whatever reasons, things go wrong. But just your goal is if I strive to make my life the fullest like you, and enjoy the journey. That's the other thing in my show. It's like if you enjoy your journey, there's no failure. So don't define yourself by one bad experience. It's just a dot in the line that's going in a good direction. Exactly. And of course, there's always success from failure, which everybody jumps on that of course so if people want to see your show or know more about you where do they go yeah so please go to Amazon it's called the other F word the F originally was for 50 about you know it's that age you don't want to talk about but fortunately it's also 40 because women in their 40s are feeling the similar thing of of going into this stage that you're viewed differently and it's also for friendship and fun that that are also I think important in this time so it's the other F word it's streaming on Amazon and it's a micro series, which is kind of very current where, um, and it's a grassroots thing. And we have Steve Gutenberg in it and Judy Gold and Michael Boatman and Rako Allsworth. So there'll be actors you recognize as well as some amazing New York actors that really embody our stories. And it's the beginning. It's the beginning of a journey for us. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.